Meteor is a popular metric for machine translation. So let's understand this evaluation metric. So why do we need evaluation metrics for machine translation? Let's say you have a sentence in German and you translated it to an English sentence using your model. And you have a reference sentence that tells you what the actual translation is. So the idea behind machine translation evaluation metrics essentially is to compare the candidate sentence that your model generated with the reference sentence and give a score. The most popular metric for machine translation is blue score, which evaluates the translation based mostly on precision. So if you have a candidate sentence and uh, what you generated is like the cat on mat and the reference is the cat is on the mat. So it sees the number of candidate words that are in the reference divided by total number of words in the candidates. And this idea is very similar to a precision for a classifier, right? Uh, and this is one of the challenges that it's very precision based. It does not see the recall, which is whether all the information in the reference sentence is actually captured in the candidate. And the next problem with blue score is that semantic similarity is not considered. Suppose you had the reference as the cat is over the mat. It's still pretty similar, but on and over are considered completely different words. So a popular metric to overcome these shortcomings is the meteor. And it's very commonly used uh, in many practical applications. So one of the things that uh, is nice about Meteor is that uh, over studies, they found that it correlates better with human judgment. And it considers both precision and recall, though it gives more weightage to recall. So we will look at the actual way that this is computed. Another interesting fact is that it actually considers semantic similarity. So you can actually leverage a stemmer or you know a synonym matcher in order to match similar words and make sure that you know similarity between words is not ignored even if there is no exact match. And finally, it favors big chunks of text matching big chunks of text in the reference. So for example, uh, if you had a sentence, the cat is on the mat and the reference is exactly the cat is on the mat. You want a better alignment compared to, let's say, the, on, is, mat, cat, the, which has the same set of words as the reference, but they don't make sense grammatically, right? So you want to give weightage when there's an exact match and Meteor can actually do that. So the way Meteor works is as follows. So you want to first compute the precision and recall. And for that, you need to come up with an alignment. So if you have a candidate sentence, the cat sat on the mat here, and the reference sentence on the mat sat the cat, you want to first find alignment between the words of these two sentences. This could be just exact word matches, or it could also be semantic similarity. So you can actually look at different kinds of embeddings if you want, or if you, you can just look at synonyms, or you can use a stemmer and so on and you can actually find words that are what that you think are the same. Right? So once we find an alignment and there could be multiple alignments and we want to pick that alignment which suits us best basically, uh, we'll talk about that in an, another slide. So once we have an alignment, the precision is just the ratio of the number of unigrams in the candidate translation also in reference. And the denominator is just the number of unigrams in candidate translation. So it's seeing how many of the words in the candidate are also in the reference. The recall is seeing out of all the words in the reference, what percentage are in the candidate. And this is the recall. So in this case, we see that the candidate and the reference have exactly the same set of words and the same number of words, of course. So both precision and recall will be one in this case. And you see that the score that is being used to combine precision and recall here, the, the F score, that's the harmonic mean of precision and recall is giving more weightage to recall. 
So though you see like an R plus 9P here, it's in the denominator. So this is giving more weightage to recall over precision. So again, as we noted, the Meteor score looks both at precision and recall. And it is also looking at semantic similarity instead of just exact word match. Now, another aspect of the Meteor score is that it adds a chunk penalty, which means that if you have a sentence that is an exact match with the reference, for instance, if the translation were on the mat sat the cat, you want to get like a very high score, while the cat sat on the mat is okay, but it needs to be a slightly lower score, right? So in order to capture that, we now look at the number of chunks in the alignment. So chunk is a consecutive set of words that is matching to a consecutive set of words in the reference. So here we see that, you know, this is the cat is one chunk, sat is one chunk, on the mat is one chunk because it's again mapping to consecutive words. So we have three chunks in the candidate. So the chunk penalty is computed as number of chunks in the candidate divided by total number of unigrams in the candidate, right? And then it is raised to some power and, uh, you know, it's multiplied by some kind of a constant factor. And the actual uh, alignments could be different. What we saw earlier that there are, is that there are many possible alignments between the candidate and the reference. And we want to take that alignment which results in fewest number of chunks. So for instance, uh, the here, instead of the cat being mapped to the cat, I can map the to another the, right? And I want to avoid that and look at that alignment that leads to fewest chunks, right? This is just a detail, but the whole point is that we want to now combine this penalty score along with the harmonic score of the precision and recall that we saw earlier, and that will give the meteor score. So it combines all these aspects. To recapitulate, blue score is the most popular evaluation metric for machine translation, but there are several shortcomings for the blue score. For instance, it is highly precision based and it does not take into account semantic similarity and so on. So Meteor is a popular alternative for blue score that's also often measured, where if you're given a sentence in a language that is translated to another language and a reference, which is like the candidate and a reference, which is something that, you know, a manual evaluator came up with. The Meteor score can be used to assess how close the candidate is to the reference by looking at both the precision and recall between the two sentences and also semantic similarity. So that's about Meteor. Thank you.